Welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video is a question and answer video in which we'll be seeing some questions and doubts which I've been receiving as comments uh, in the technical assistant ex uh, exam preparation videos. Okay, so I'm, I'm receiving a lot of comments and questions and doubts regarding the technical assistant examination. So I thought why not uh, make a video on this that is try, I'm trying to answer your questions and doubts in this video. Okay, so I have the questions in my hand and I'll try to answer these questions in this video. Okay, so the first question is exam location of technical assistant examination. This is a very famous question. I've been receiving a lot of comments regarding the technical assistant exam location. So we all know that there are three recruitments going to happen for technical assistant. That is for the HSFC location, for SDSC and also for the VSSC location, which is the latest one. So the HSFC is uh, based on Bangalore. So the examination center will be 90% uh, will be in the Bangalore location only because in the advertisement also it is very clearly written that the uh, exam is going to happen. That is a written test, skill test will be happening in the Bangalore only. So the uh, exam location of HSFC will be in Bangalore and the next one is for SDSC. So the SDSC is Andhra Pradesh based that is the recruitment is for Nellore location but the examination centers of SDSC if you see the previous recruitments where happened on the Chennai location. So the uh, le uh, location for SDSC will be Chennai most probably and for VSSC which is the latest one the VSSC uh, location is Trivandrum and the examination will be happening in Trivandrum location. Okay, so that is the first question that is the exam location for technical assistant examinations. Okay, the next question is examination date for technical assistant. See, uh, the examination date uh, will be exactly known when uh, it is given on the site of ISR or, it, or VSSC or SDSC. But uh, we can predict the exam date. See, uh, there is another important uh, recruitment going to happen for ISRO that is a scientist recruitment. Okay, so it is also a very big recruitment. So this uh, scientist recruitment is going to happen on first of uh, first week of January. That is January 12th is the examination date exactly given on the advertisement. So the January month will be mainly they con they'll be concentrating on the scientist. So we can uh, anticipate that the examination date for the technical assistant will be mostly on February or after February. Okay, so there are three recruitments for uh, HSFC, for uh, SDSC and VSSC. These three recruitments we cannot um, think of happening together because there will be people who have applied for multiple locations. So these recruitments will be happening uh, separately and First, the recruitment of HSFC will be happening and it will be happening most probably on February or last of January we can expect. That is, uh, after the first week of January, the scientist examination will be over. After that, we can ex uh, we can uh, think of uh, the HSFC examination. After that, the SDSC will be happening and the VSSC, still the application link is active. That is, you can apply till January 1st. So, the recruitment of or the examination of VSSC will be happening after that, maybe in March. Okay, so February, March, the examination can happen for the technical assistant. So everybody is uh, really looking into the examination date of technical assistant. That is those who are preparing for the technical assistant examination. Next one is the salary of technical assistant. The salary of technical assistant is very clearly given on the advertisement for each location. That is for HSFC, SDSC and also for VSSC location. Anyway, if you are not seeing that i'll tell you the uh, salary per month salary for sdsc location is 52533 is the salary then for the vsc location it is uh, there is vsc location it is 59000 per month and for hsfc location it is 44900 per month plus da included with all salaries that is this is a per month salary for each location so you can uh, have a salary above 45,000 in both the cases, sorry, in all the cases, all the three cases. Okay. So the salary is likewise. Now, next question is last date for VSSC. So the only active link for application is VSSC. All the other links has been closed. That is application last date is over for all the other two locations. Now for VSSC, if you want to apply, there is 20 posts. You can apply for this. The last date is January 1st. 
first of January and that is on the new year is the last date for your application for VSSC Location Technical Assistant. Next question is, okay, I'm receiving a lot of doubts like which is the best book for technical assistant? Now, if you see in the internet, you cannot find uh, many books, but I've seen a book uh, including many of the uh, subjects that is not only for electronics, but also including all uh, other branches uh, preparation, especially for technical assistant. Uh, I'll share that link in my description box in this video. Okay. And also you cannot find many books there, honestly speaking. But if you see, there is a lot of books available for ISRO scientists. If you want to buy, buy a good book for that uh, scientist post, then you can prepare that questions also. But it will be a little tough. Anyway, I won't suggest you to buy that book. But if you want to go for a reference, uh, please uh, see the uh, book samples and all. Okay. So anyway, there is a no, uh, not much books for technical assistant. One book is there. I'll give the link in the description box. Okay. But if you want to buy scientist book also, that is not a waste. Any book is not a waste. If you want to buy, you can buy. I'll also share the link of some uh, scientist books uh, in, the tech, uh, in the description box. Okay. Next question. Will there be GA, uh, that is general aptitude, current affairs and GK in the examination of technical assistant? Uh, so there is questions from uh, general aptitude uh, and also general science. Uh, most probably uh, from general aptitude session only. There is no questions from current affairs. I have not seen any questions uh, from uh, in any of the previous year question papers. I have not seen the general, uh, I mean the current affairs. And also GK questions I have not seen. Only questions will be from the general aptitude. That is maths aptitude you have to practice. And next question is number of general aptitude questions. That is how much, how many number of questions will be from the general aptitude or maths, general maths, how many questions will be there. So the question number is very, very less as compared to the uh, technical uh, subject questions. I'm uh, saying this repeatedly in all my videos that if you're preparing for technical assistant, you have to concentrate mainly on your subject. That is core subjects you have to concentrate. Then concentrate on the general aptitude or maths or whatever or reasoning. Reasoning also very less questions. Okay. So all these questions, if clubbed together, that is general aptitude plus a reasoning, total number of questions will be less than 10 only. All the other questions will be from your core subject area. Okay, so that is a question. Next question, it is also very, very uh, relevant. That is, I have been receiving a lot of questions on this area. That is, can B, B Tech apply? The answer is no. Because in the qualification session for the advertisement of technical assistant, they have given it very specifically that first class diploma is needed. So B, B Tech and ITI cannot apply for the post of technical assistant because it is very clearly given in the uh, qualification details of the recruitment. So if you want to have a look, please go to the site of uh, ISRO or SCSC or, or BSSC and have a look. The qualification is only B, sorry, only diploma, no B, B10 and ITI also. Okay. And if you want to apply for the scientist post, uh, the application date is anyway over. So just uh, wait for the next post that is for scientist post you can apply and also there have been a uh, recruitment for the technic uh, the technician for that post you the iti people can apply okay so for technical assistant only first class diploma people can apply for the respective branches okay next question okay next question is uh I'll read the question. I have diploma plus B.Tech. Can I apply for this post? Yes. They have only given the qualification as first class diploma. If you have a B.Tech also, there is no problem. You can apply. But also you have to think these, uh, keep these things in mind that you should have a first class diploma and also your age limit should be within the given specification. That is, they have given a cutoff for the age limit. Your age should be come in that range. Okay, so you should have a first class diploma. If you have, you can apply and also your age should be on that range. So if you have a BTEC also, no problem, you can apply. Next question, will interview be in English or Hindi? 
okay so this interview thing and everything is uh, depending on the examination panel you cannot say whether the interview will be in english only or whether the interview will be in hindi or in any other language but one thing is there if your uh, score for a written test is very good then you can uh, expect a moderate interview that can be maybe in your mother tongue or the uh, particular locations language but if you are preparing for technical assistant examination prepare your question and answers in english only because that is the language they are preferring and they are saying okay but uh, anyway the uh, interview make happen in hindi sometimes i've uh, read some experience over the internet that uh, the the questions was very liberal and they asked in hindi or they asked in the language or that is in the mother tongue likewise that can happen but it is mainly depending on the examination panel but my request is that if you are preparing just go for english first then suggestion is that if you are preparing for technical assistant post please prepare your interview in the uh, english only and uh, that will anyway improve your confidence right that is anyway good for you only but the interview is a sec the, the next part interview may happen or may not happen but the first thing is a written test try to cover that portions and area first then think about the interview okay then next one or the next question is skill test cut off mark so i have made a separate video on this that is a skill test i have explained the procedure and everything that means the procedure that can happen that is not uh, i am not telling that it is 100% it the uh, sure procedure it can vary also uh, depending again on the examination panel but uh, i have done a video on the skill test and anyway the cut off is sure the examination the skill test examination is 400 marks and the cut off mark is 60 percentage which is 60 marks out of 100 okay so the cut off mark is 60 percentage question is what is the percentage in diploma needed to get qualified for written test that is how much percentage of marks you should have in diploma to get uh, called for the examination that is that is a question okay so in the qualification session they have given that first class so if 65% is for first class and talking a standard uh, way or mark 65% is uh, needed then 65% is only required for getting called for the written test but if the post number is a vacant that is the vacancy number is very less and there is a lot of people been applied with first class means they can increase the percentage so that you cannot really predict but uh, anyway if you have 65% you are uh, as per the qualification you are qualified to write the examination and if you are whether you are being called for the written test or not that you can only uh, find when you are getting that bit card right so if you have a 65 percentage most probably you will be called for the examination okay next question what uh, is a written test cut off okay here again i have done a separate video on the written test cut off based on the previous year analysis okay i'll share the link in my description box anyway the cut off percentage from the previous years experiences we can find it will be from 80 percentage to 90 percentage should have to get qualified the written test okay next question i have a diploma first class but i took 4 years for completing the diploma can i apply for this post okay so this is again a tough question uh, the diploma is generally for 3 years but if you took 4 years to complete if uh, even if you have uh, a first class means uh as per the qualifications criteria you are eligible to apply but uh, whether you will be called or not uh, that uh, again the examination panel has to decide but as per their qualification uh, that is not a problem if, uh, because if your age limit will not be also exceeding right so you are eligible to apply even if you took 4 years to complete your diploma you are eligible to apply as per the qualification details okay next question where can i get the previous year question papers okay this is again a multiple times asked question many people are looking for the previous year question papers of technical assistant okay i'll share the link in my description box again you can find the question papers of 2015 16 17 and 2019 and specifically talking for the electronics branch okay all these years question papers uh, mainly for the vssc location um i'll share the link in my description box okay you can obtain the uh, the papers online and also if you want other location question papers also just google it most probably you will be getting the question papers and with the answer key answer key okay next question 
whether any site available for online mock test i have not found any site providing technical assistant mock test online so i am not seen any of them if anybody knows such a site or a website please to comment in the comment section below so that other people can also refer okay next question this is the last question i have included in this video the important topics for your preparation we are uh, generally talking about the electronics branch okay so the important topics for preparation is i've done a detailed video on the syllabus that is the syllabus important subjects and important topics of the, the subjects i've done a video please do watch that video if you want to get familiarized okay so these are the questions which i have included in this video i have been receiving these questions multiple times uh, uh, under the comment section of various videos so that is why i i uh, thought of making such a video and also i have posted a uh, post in uh, the community tab also and i have received some questions in that community tab also so uh, i thought i think this video was useful i think uh, you could figure out some of your confusions now uh, so if this video was useful for your preparation if you could gain some knowledge from this video please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends who are preparing for technical assistant examination and if you want more videos please do uh, subscribe to the channel thank you